that ended an hour ago when you killed my son. I pulled the trigger. I killed Ali. I had to. He was going to shoot Michael. And welcome everybody to another Native Thoughts review. Um, Native Thoughts podcast, Native Thoughts video review on YouTube. This time we're doing a different rearranging settings where we're going to podcast while we're doing the video just by me. But I do have a co-host behind the camera and on the microphone as well. <laughs> say your name. Hey, just what's up, say, you guys? Say who you are. Just say you're right there. Um, don't ask why she's not on camera. Don't think of why. Just don't, just go along with it. Run All Night uh, movie review this time for Run All Night starring Liam Neeson directed by Jahum. Let's it I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. If you're gonna correct me, correct me. I really don't care. <laughs> um, I pronounced it wrong, anyways. Um, Run All Night, starring Liam Neeson. It's the third time he either he works on a project with this director. First time it was unknown. Second time nonstop, which I like nonstop. Last year, I know you liked it. I liked well. it. It was good. Unknown, you haven't seen it. I didn't like it. I wasn't a big fan of it. But Run All Night, um, starring Liam Neeson. He is a beat down old bum. He does he is an alcoholic, he's an asshole, he's not nice, he's even racist at some points. Um to a point, not fully, but um he's always hanging out at a bar owned by his friend dash employer and in his friend dash employer um son pays him to do some little jobs here and there, nothing big, it's just you know pretty much hanging handing out chub change bombs or whatnot. And Liam Neeson, uh, son, played by, I believe, Joel Kenningham, 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 whatever, um, uh, Robocop, mm-hmm. last year Robocop, and The Killing. Um, guess it's, um, it's, okay, it's kind of hard to plot this movie out. Uh, Liam Neeson's son Mike. is a limo driver. Hmm? Mike. Mike, there we go, I can't remember his name. Mike, uh, James, uh, James, right, Liam Neeson character, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy uh, is, yeah. Mike, Liam Neeson's son, gets into some uh, trouble. He first off, he is a limo driver. He is a boxer limo driver. He helps the the uh, the underprivileged kids, kids who are foster homes, you know, kids who needs help. He helps them because he grew up on the road patch as well. And he he does a limo driver by night. Literally, he knows that he is limo driving the bad guy of the son of the main villain, played by Ed Harris. Ed Harris is the main character. The son is, is I. Do you have the name for the son? I don't remember the son. Um, he's not driving the son. No, no, no he's driving the 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 a bad client. guys. A the client, client of, of the, the son. son. It's kind of a weird um, plot to play, but we're gonna get there. I don't know which one he is. Hold, on, let me go on this other one. Oh, okay. Um, Boyd Holbrook. Boyd. Boyd. B o y d. Boyd. Boyd. Pretty much kills the clients. Uh. Uh, Mike uh, and Mike becomes a eyewitness uh, person seeing what he did so Boyd pretty much goes I have to but they him. know who they are because they grew up yeah they know who they are and Boyd has no reason but I have to kill him because he saw me kill him but that's how it goes the real reason to know is that Jimmy Liam Neeson is an ex uh, hitman a run down him man and he kills him and Ed Harris tells him you're gonna pay for what you did cause my wife told me to go kill you cause it it is how it is you kill my son I have to kill you and your family and Liam Neeson's like no no just take me you know stuff like that but doesn't work like that and they run all night pretty much that's the plot <laughs> it's, it's more to it I'm not telling like, like the no, plot's kind of everywhere but you have to see because it's one of those movies where it's it's really fast. It takes place pretty much in what a whole day, a whole. No, isn't it like two days? It's two days. It most of the majority of the plot is one, is one whole night, and then it becomes another day. You know. Yeah. It starts off a day before the whole night, and then it ends with the day after the night. Without giving too much away, but um, it is one of those movies where it is a running movie. It is a. a chase movie you know they yeah. have to run from the city they have to run from every corner because if there's cops they are paid by even the corrupt family. cops corrupt cops corrupt cops cops who are looking for them um even the you know it's just henchmen you know and whatnot and they um they do run all night that's what they say they do run yeah. all night and it's a movie that it has style it has a lot of style to it it's very dark it's very dark it's mostly everything's at night but it looks like most of it is like in the 
ghetto of Brooklyn or whatnot, you know? Stuff like that. Like, in the slums of, like, it looks like everywhere is always, like, in the, in, like, in some type of, you know. Like a big city. Like a big city, but, like, in the big, ba- busy a city. Big, like, the bad part. I think in New York, city. actually. Hmm? I think it is in New York, yeah, yeah. Because most say I think if it's not Hell's Kitchen, it's probably uh, Brooklyn. I think that is Hell's Kitchen. But um, we're not from New York people. <laughs> uh, and pretty much that's what it is, you know. It's a running movie. It, it has a lot of style to it. It has very dark, you know. I One character I thought was kind of like weird in there was Carmen's character who plays like oh, the professional. But he just comes out like. He comes out very little, but the. But most, it's still cool. The way he yeah, comes it's still out. cool. I mean, he's, he, you know, he's those typical. You've seen this type of character in any Hitman movie. It's this type of character who just, oh, go pay this guy to go kill him, man. But like a professional hitman. Professional, man. and they'll just know that professional is going to get his ass kicked sooner or later. <laughs> and um, the only thing I can tell you, if you want to go see it, I could, I could plot probably two movies out for you. It's, it's a lot in vain of John Wick. Yeah. It's a lot <laughs> in vain of Running Scared, that Paul Walker movie. Oh, yeah. That's it's a so lot in, in that way. It's like, it's always at it's all night it's camera works it's moving from one end of the city it's moving back it's a lot cheesy a cool camera works I think it's pretty talented camera works and it's a lot in vain of um, The Punisher the 2004 Charming Jane Punisher in which Punisher kills the vi- the villain's son and the only thing that the villain does is his wife his wife tells him kill his family in vain of this one you know so the Punisher family gets killed and him I'm not going to say if it gets killed or not, but it's in main that they're going to go after them, you know? And Punisher, whatever. If you've seen The Punisher, you've seen that movie. But it's in vain of those three movies, you know? Um, it's nothing new, but nothing, you know, nothing bad also, you know? You've seen it all, but it's there, you know? I don't know if you have anything else to say about it. No, yeah. Like, if you've seen those movies and you like them, you won't be disappointed with this movie. It's a really... I actually think it's a really good movie. Yeah. But you should go see it at the movie theater. I think yeah. you deserve to use it. Yeah. Maybe in like on a night. Like in the night time. Like a night... Like full, full price of man Because I feel like the whole movie's at night. You go out and you, you watch in the middle of the day. You can full price and be satisfied with it. I think you go... Yeah, you go in the middle of the day, you watch a movie all night, you walk it's like shit. Your eyes hurt and everything. Like, you're all blind and whatnot. It's, I think it's a really good movie. I like the movie. I enjoyed it. Uh, it. Like I say, I like it in that cheesy way. It's the vein of John Wick and Running Scared and uh, which and I like those type of movies. And I like it. I mean, it limbs, Liam Neeson playing the bad type of character. Everybody in this movie is a bad character. Nobody's a good guy in this movie. And not just a good guy trying to be the bad, try, the bad, bad guy trying to be a good guy. He still comes off as a bad guy no matter what, you know? Or they're trying to be a good guy, but that's all I could really say about running all night, running on, run, run all night, run, all night. <laughs> run running all night. I think you've been saying running all night. I have, huh? I run all so. night, people. And um, <laughs> that's all I could really say. You know, I could say probably, well, I'll say rent it for me. Rent yeah. It. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because the movie you will enjoy at the house. You'll be like really into it. You know, at I the movies, I feel like it. you'll be you'll be in, into it, but it is a lot to really get capture in because it's so much it's so much in there you know but dad you say movies right yeah I yeah. think you should go see at the movies it didn't do bad critic score 60 user score 64 yeah. it's not bad it's, I, yeah. it's well, not you can't always bad. go over by the mouth of critics yeah you can't you always, can't always but, also, but we'll just give an opinion what we thought about the movie yeah you know? but everybody this is Native Thoughts a different section you could watch this audio you can actually watch this video and listen to the audio. The audio is on SoundCloud. The video is on YouTube. Everybody have a good night. Bye. Bye.